every character, every plot point, every codec conversation, every cutscene, every reference, every minute detail overly explained. They all serve a greater theme, a grand central idea to their story. Genes do not define you as a person. The passing of good elements of culture or behavior. Nothing is absolute or eternal. Everything changes along with the times. Intentions and the will to carry out an agenda of a grand scale. The quest to conquer conquest itself. The undoings that responses to differing backgrounds cause. The false spiral that will be carried out onto the next generation. And how true pain never just goes away. So, what does survive have to say? Fucking nothing! So recently I've discovered a small YouTuber, why am I saying small, he's bigger than me, known as Grizzly Guernsey Gamer. Oh, I'll try saying that three times real fast. Grizzly Guernsey Gamer, Grizzly Guernsey Gamer, Grizzly Guernsey Gamer, Grizzly Guernsey Gamer, Grizzly Gamer, Grizzly Gamer, Gr fuck. Yeah, you might want to abbreviate that, mate, like G3 or G cubed. Mate, that last one might be taken. Now throughout this month, Triple G. Okay, no, that sounds terrible. Grizzly has been doing a Metal Gear month. Now I love the Metal Gear games. It's my absolute favorite video game series ever made. From my first playthrough of MGS1 to my like 60th of Phantom Pain, there's a reason why I own this poster. Get it from sharkrobot.com. And why I hate every day of my life because I'm never gonna have enough money to justify buying the 650 pound Rex figure. And it's not my fault you can't afford it. Are you trying to make me angry, McMuscles? So for the V of you who didn't know, <laughs> Metal Gear Solid is now dead and buried. Crushed by Konami executives, a particular machine, a grudge against the lead developer, and a dream. That dream being to spit on the people who gave them money for a product they enjoyed and to shit and vomit all over that product and everything it stood for. Call my bluff, but I don't think Survive is going to be an antiquated story using its unicorn zombies as an allegory for... Well, I don't know, uh, aggressive and persistent advertising that we have to try our best just to deal with on a daily basis. And I think it's going to be about exploring the best and worst of humanity through subjecting characters to an apocalyptic scenario. I don't think it's even going to be about how Metal Gear can live on without Kojima behind the wheel, because I'm pretty sure even Konami knows it can't. But you know what Survive is going to be about? Zombies. Oh, and... Here comes the money! Here we go! Money talks! Here comes the money! Now I know what you're going to say. Oh, just cause Konami is Konami and Konami is the worst doesn't automatically mean there's gonna be microtransactions in the game. One, well, yeah, it kinda does, but two, I have some logic behind my conclusion that there's going to be loot boxes and or microtransactions in the game. See, throughout the gameplay showcase from TGS 2016, one word kept smashing itself against the side of my head so painfully, so persistently, that it drove me insane. Materials. Now what other game heavily implemented the use of materials? No, 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 not that one. Think earlier. Think Western. Think of another series that was gutted, dissected, and completely obliterated due to interference from the higher-ups in their pursuit for money. That's right. Dead Space. And most of us like to forget, Dead Space 3 was a thing that happened, and Dead Space 3 was all about materials. And money. And using money for materials to progress in the game. Also guns and cart for some fucking reason. Notice all the important aspects I mentioned, because all those aspects are in a series that doesn't need them. A series that was never designed for them. A series with fans who aren't asking for them. Have you noticed the similarities yet? Of course you have, you're not stupid. No, I treat my audience with respect. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, yes I do. Which is exactly what Konami isn't doing. Another reason why it'll suck is because, well, just fucking think about it. It's an online only open world co-op zombie survival game. That is the most boring, overused combination of words in all of video games. The only way you can make it more bland and generic is by labeling it as an action adventure. Oh, come on! Reason why it'll suck number. Th
Shit, I wasn't counting. Another reason why it'll suck is Look at the shit they're selling already! Fucking weapon skins, alternating scarf colors, emotes, a nameplate, face paint, and a fucking box head accessory! The game isn't even out yet and they're already advertising this shit! Reason number 319 is motherfucking RPG stats. This is an image from the game's official website and we can see there's going to be number managing bullshit for your gear, such as defense, durability, weight, and Perks. None of those four words I said belong in a Metal Gear game! Reason 6252 is fucking base building and base resource management! Fuck! I hated the light base building and management that went into Phantom Pain and now they're doubling down on this shit. Fuck my life! And finally, reason 410,757,864,530 is What even is this? I can't. I'm, I fucking can't. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Why do I do these things to myself? Now I know you all have some choice words from the comment section, namely... What was even the point in this entire video? You brought absolutely nothing new to the table. No new information about the game, only your own opinions, which is about the same as everyone else's, and a comparison between Ground Zeroes and Factor Pain would have been nice, actually. Um, well, then I guess I know what video I'll be doing for next year. Maybe. I, I say maybe because I might want to do that before then. I don't know. Okay, look, the point of this video was really just to highlight Grizzly's channel and quickly sum up my opinions as well as have my opinions out there in a video about Metal Gear Survive before it comes out. Because I will be getting it because I like the feeling of wanting to die. And usually I don't gravitate towards any kind of obsessive fan following mentality, but... God fucking damn it, it's Metal Gear, okay? It's one of the few things I hold near and dear to my heart. You, no, you know what? I'm gonna treat you all t to a video within a video. To end it, here's a hype train on Metal Gear Survive. This game is the equivalent of using a vegetable peeler on my balls. Be sure to check out Grizzly's channel as well as this patchwork video about Metal Gear 5 from Top Spin the Fuzzy, the guy who made my logo. Trust me, it's way better than this one and it's actually animated because the guy's an animator. Wow, I have absolutely no talent whatsoever. Okay, bye.